Mondays. Mondays in the world of football are either a reminder of a win or a loss the day before. And as you can tell by my all black ensemble here, Sunday was not a kind day to me or my Dallas Cowboys. Which is why as much as it pains me to the deepest parts of my soul, they are my pick for this week's Monday Morning Quarterback. If somebody would have told me that the same defense that managed to sack Russell Wilson at least four times the week before would then be the same defense that would go on to give up almost 50 points against the Cleveland Browns, I would have thought you were crazy. And that's coming from someone who's very critical of the Cowboys defense. Yet, here we are. So what is wrong with them boys? Well, at this rate, a lot. But here are some of my biggest takeaways. Defense, defense, defense. Or, in this case, the lack thereof. I had a feeling prior to the start of the NFL season that the Dallas Cowboy defense was going to be the ultimate roller coaster. It was definitely one of my concerns. I mean, how else do you explain the fact that one week your defense is sacking one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL multiple times, and then the next week they're giving up 49 points to the Cleveland Browns? And it's one thing to not be able to stop the pass, but for your defense not to be able to stop the run, that's a totally different issue in itself. The Browns totaled over 300 rushing yards on Sunday, averaging 7.5 yards per carry, most of which was without Nick Chubb, who left early in the game with an injury. All in all, defense is the ideology of Jekyll and Hyde in the flesh. And speaking of two different personalities, offense, you're not off the hook because you get a piece of that pie too, which is why they're my second takeaway from Sunday's game. First of all, when your quarterback throws for over 500 yards in a single game, you're supposed to win that game, period. And Dak Prescott is far from perfect. But if anything, on Sunday, he showed us that slicing and dicing a defense is definitely in his hat of tricks. But overall, the offense could not get out of their own way, and as the errors continued to pile up, so did their chance of winning. While there's a lot of blame to go around, for me, all eyes go to Ezekiel Elliott, whose ball handling this season so far has been problematic. Problematic enough to overshadow his successes. Three fumbles versus Atlanta, at least three drop passes versus Seattle, and another fumble yesterday. Maybe you overlook it for a regular running back, but you certainly don't overlook it for a $90 million running back and a running back who's supposed to be your most trustworthy and consistent option. But like I said, there's a lot of blame to go around. And for me, the biggest takeaway from Sunday's game was the pattern. And patterns are habits and habits are hard to break. There's a lot of confusion going on in Dallas right now. The phrase every head coach loves, complimentary football, which is just a fancy way of saying the offense isn't helping the defense and the defense isn't helping the offense. And if we're being honest, the only reason that the Cowboys are not 0-4 is because the Atlanta Falcons happen to be a bigger shit show than Dallas is at this moment in time, which is unacceptable for a team this talented. Luckily for Dallas, the NFC East is the biggest circus in the NFL, and coming out on top is not a difficult task, especially this year. But the Cowboys need to ask themselves how much longer they're comfortable with just barely making it, and exactly what do they plan to do to change it. What's up everybody? Thank you so much for checking out this episode of All In with Ashley Nicole. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the new episodes. And while you're at it, check me out on social media and hit that follow because I post some pretty cool things on there that you won't see on YouTube.